The wings are made of... Rhonda May's first grade class is learning to read. It will be fun. They're also learning it's fun to save their school some serious cash by going green. I'm happy, really happy when I save electricity. This school year, Muskogee Public Schools set out to cut its electric bill district-wide by 7% through behavior modification. Things like teaching everyone to use only the lights necessary for the job and to turn off lights, appliances, and computers when they're not in use. So the bill won't be that high and we can save electricity. So we went from hundreds of computers being left on after hours to now it's just only one or two where someone just forgets. It costs between $5 and $12 a month each to leave computers running all the time. The price depends on the number of peripheral devices attached to it. Monitors alone use 60% of the energy. So now each classroom has a different kind of monitor. A child that makes sure computers get turned off when not in use. You have to push OK. You just have to make sure it's going to shut down. Then you push down this one too. Students are also saving their parents some cold hard cash. I turn off my TV, I turn off my light. I have a computer to shut down too. But my dad always leave it on so I shut it down always. An energy audit found leaving a 36 inch flat screen on all the time costs about $14.32 a month. So now they turn the TVs off when they're not using them and save the cash. The district also discovered chilling water in the fountains is expensive. But here's a good example of where we have uh, three water fountains in a school um, and during the winter time uh, most of the times the chill water is already in place uh, because of the colder temperature so they don't they can be unplugged so by simply unplugging the water fountains you can save three dollars per month per machine now fountains are only plugged in on hot days and speaking of hot the district found a way to save some big bucks on its cooling costs probably one of the major things if we we have better managed our control system, so we're shutting off air conditioning uh, earlier in the afternoon, and we're really being aware of that demand rate. During peak demand hours, the price of electricity goes up. If Muskogee Public Schools turns off the air by 3 o'clock, it avoids paying peak demand prices. The district also cut its electric bill by encouraging teachers to use the fridge, microwave, and coffee pot in the lounge, instead of having all those appliances in their classrooms. Teachers that prefer to have their own must reimburse the district the cost of the electricity it takes to run them. $50 a year for a mini fridge, $60 for a microwave, and $70 for a coffee pot. The bottom line was the dollar sign, and it, you know, our whole building came on board full-fledged ready to do whatever it took because we knew that somebody was going to have to leave and lose their job if we didn't save money somehow. By making a few basic changes in how and when electricity is used throughout the district, Muskogee Public Schools ended up saving twice as much energy as originally planned. So far this year, it's cut its electric bill by 14 percent. Already seen $114,000 savings. Money that can now be used for paychecks instead of paying for wasted power. In Muskogee, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.